sometimes we get so caught up in what we'd like to have that we don't recognize how much we've been given. You know, Gary just led us in, in that prayer and, and in those verses and in that truth that we, we belong to God and we talk often about that verse from 2 Peter chapter 1 where all things have been given to us, everything needed for life and godliness and our knowledge of God. But I think that we sometimes miss that if we just look around us, we have everything necessary. So often we're waiting for the next thing or hoping for the next thing or wishing for some other thing. And yet right among us is everything. And it's not just what he's put in us. It's also who he has surrounded us with. Like if there's anything I'm lacking, he has already surrounded me with those who are not lacking it. In fact, in those who are bound in it so that it may be shared. And yet we have this tendency to look and say, I, you know, it would be nice to have this thing or that thing or, you know, to have a, a bass player or to have this kind of thing or that. And the reality is if we would just look at what we've been given, we would never hope for anything else. Because we would spend so much of our energy giving thanks and rejoicing and feasting in what we've already been given. That place of knowing who we are and knowing the one we belong to is the place of contentment. It's the place of realizing that he is the possessor of all things. And so when I am in need, he will meet my needs. But until I'm in need, he will shower me with what he desires that I have. And with what my heart needs in this hour. There's never been an hour that any one of us have stepped into that he hadn't made the way for us right there's never been a door we've been left to bang on until it opens because he opens doors and he closes doors because he makes a way where there is no way if we would stop looking ahead and start living in his spirit in this moment we would discover that nothing is lacking and we're not waiting he is doing his good will according to his pleasure for our good. 